A Michigan lawmaker finds herself in trouble with the law tonight, charged with driving under the influence. Rebecca Warren represents the 55th District, which includes Ann Arbor and other parts of Washtenaw County. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig joins us live from Auburn Hills tonight. And Kim, is Rebecca Warren saying anything tonight? No, Dave and Heather, and we have given her several opportunities to say something to her constituents, but she's keeping quiet about what happened here on I-75 around 1120 last night. Colleagues, I don't have the answer, but I know that more guns carried in a concealed manner in more places is not the answer. Rebecca Warren may be in her third term in the Michigan House of Representatives, but the 48 year old Ann Arbor woman could not even recite her ABCs last night, according to Auburn Hills police who pulled her over on suspicion of drunk driving. Police would not confirm Rebecca Warren's name, but they say the driver told them she was leaving an event in Detroit and heading home to Ann Arbor, but apparently taking the very long way home because she was driving north on 75 passing Walton Road. A number of people called 911 to report a black Jeep Cherokee driving erratically and when Auburn Hills police caught up to the SUV an officer saw it leave the road and hit a guardrail. When police stopped her we're told she refused to take a breathalyzer and failed field sobriety tests that included counting, reciting the alphabet and walking heel to toe. And at the Auburn Hills police station she refused to consent to a blood draw so police had to obtain a search warrant to get it. And then Rebecca Warren was booked into the Oakland County Jail. Our action news cameras waited for her to be released this afternoon. Unfortunately, someone allowed her to slip out of a visitor door, which is not standard release for inmates. And when Under Sheriff Michael McCabe found out about it, he was upset and said Rebecca Warren should have been released like any other inmate. He said he'll conduct an investigation and those responsible will be disciplined accordingly. As for Rebecca Warren, her blood samples are being analyzed by Michigan State Police and those results could end with drunk driving charges against the state lawmaker. Colleagues, we have been entrusted by the people of Michigan, by our voters from our districts, to look out for their well being. And because police say she refused to consent to that blood draw, her driver's license will be automatically suspended for one year. Reporting live in Auburn Hills, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News, back to you, Heather. Kim, do we know when Rebecca Warren will be facing a judge? Well, at this point, we're waiting to find out when she will be charged. She has not been charged yet. Police say that could take at least two to three weeks to get the test results back from Michigan State Police. At that point, they will forward their case to their local prosecutor to review for any charges. Back to you. All right. Thanks, Kim. I know you'll be following it.